Welcome. In today's screencast, we will look at some of the changes to the Uniface web components, specifically the editor, and the changes the new DSP component brings in the 9.4 beta. In this short presentation, we will look at the evolution of rich internet applications and what they are. We'll talk about the Uniface web component types and look at the changes to the editor in the 9.4 beta. I will then demonstrate some of this functionality. Rich internet applications combine the benefits of paged internet applications with the power and richness of desktop applications. Paged internet applications give you easy deployment, simple upgrades, a minimal client footprint, allow for multi-channel deployment and as a vendor allow you to offer flexible pricing. The power you get from the desktop are rich controls, high usability, reactive screens and the possibility of state maintenance. All of this can be achieved using rich internet applications, giving a desktop feel in a web browser. The two web component types in Uniface are Uniface server pages and dynamic server pages. Uniface server pages are the traditional paged internet application components. They are page level components that submit all of their data in a batch processing style. The end user will experience a delay between the actions. The controls on offer are the basic HTML controls. They do allow for RIA applications, but this involves writing bespoke AJAX code. The dynamic server pages in the 9.4 beta are a new component type. These allow for dynamic AJAX updates on the page. All of the AJAX constructs are managed by Uniface, so the developer does not have to understand AJAX or write a single line of JavaScript. Another key feature you will notice with DSPs is that there are no more X tags. This has now been changed to use standard ID constructs. Your layout information will be XHTML compliant. The existing USPs still use the X tags in order to minimize migration efforts. The 9.4 beta introduces some changes to the component editor. This applies both to USPs and DSPs. The key change is what's referred to as the structure layout separation. What this means is we no longer rely on synchronization. Instead, we now have a binding concept. This binding concept allows you to create your structure independently of your layout. This works as simply as copy and paste. There are some specific enhancements related to DSPs. The first of these is the removal of X tags. DSPs use IDs to bind to the Uniface fields. This means that the layout information is now standard XHTML. This theoretically allows you to use any XHTML editor to modify your layout information. Each of the DSP widgets has a number of properties that can be set within the IDF. These can also be maintained from PROC code. There are a number of new PROC statements relating to DSPs. Things such as web message, web definitions, web layout, etc. There's a new widget called Attributes Only. This is a powerful widget as it allows you to manipulate any of the HTML elements in your layout. This could be things such as your body tag, div tags, span tags, anything that's not actually a standard Uniface field. There's some DSP enhancements around triggers. Single clicks and double clicks in particular cases will fire the detail trigger. The onChange JavaScript event will also trigger backend code in Uniface, again using AJAX constructs. In the second part of the screencast, I will demonstrate some of the features I have mentioned. Thank you.